Princess Zara Aga Khan, distinguished guests, valued members of the AKO community, and our graduating classes, good afternoon. It is a great honor to stand here and make a few remarks on behalf of this year's graduating class. Indeed, we have reason to celebrate today because today's achievements have come under extraordinary circumstances. When we first started attending in-person classes in 2020, or earlier than that for some of us, we had no idea of what was coming. The COVID-19 pandemic brought about unforeseen changes that impacted not only our personal lives, but our professional lives. This is true not just for my colleagues at DSMC, but also for all of us graduating today, you who are now doctors from the medical college, our nurses from Sonam, and colleagues from the Institute for Educational Development. To paraphrase the late great African author Chinua Achebe from Things Fall Apart, since the hunter has learned how to shoot without missing, Eneke the bird has learned how to fly without patching. We became like Eneke the bird. We raised our wings, adapted to the changing environment, set our eyes on the goal, and amassed the courage to forge ahead without looking back. It has resulted in this, a day where we stand tall, victorious, and proud. But we would be lying if we said that we made it here solely because of our hard work and determination. There are many who stood by us all along the way, some in the front lines, others in the background. And so to the faculty, the non-teaching staff, and the entire AKU fraternity, we say thank you. Thank you for ensuring that we got a world-class education. To our friends and family, we thank you for your support. And to God, thank you for giving us the strength and providing for our needs. I remember when I received the admission to join this school, the one thing that lingered in my mind was whether I had made the right choice to study here and not anywhere else. And I know I'm not the only one who pondered over this. Would the program better position us in a fast-changing journalism world? Two years later, I can confirm that I know I made the right choice. I have gained the necessary skills for our times, knowledge, but more than that, a network of friends and family. I have been a practicing journalist for close to 10 years now, now working with the BBC as a senior business reporter. And that senior bit came about when I was a student here. But I digress. In under a decade, this profession has, and others represented here have changed in so many ways. And those with insight have told us to either adapt or perish. But what does this adaptation entail? Is it just about acquiring an extra academic paper, or is it acquiring new skills, or is it both? Reflecting on that question now, for me, every part of it matters, from the degree title to the content. Ladies and gentlemen, getting here was not easy. There were times when writing hurt. Ouch, I could hear that from the back. Times when deadlines competed with other pressing needs and commitments, and times when we almost gave up and said, Kwani ni lazima. Swahili for, is it a must? Some lost weight and others a few strands of hair, but it has been totally worth it. This process has brought out the best in us. But what we are celebrating today is not just for ourselves. Society is looking at us with hope, hope that we will create a difference and hope that we will make it count. Let us become beacons of hope and sources of light. Let us walk out of here with courage in our hearts and determination in our minds. This speech cannot end without special recognition and immense gratitude to KFW, Johnson & Johnson, the Aga Khan University, and its chancellor for providing significant financial support for study and student mobility. The generosity shown to us cannot ever be forgotten or overstated. It has allowed us to reach this point today. I know that the chancellor is a firm believer of lifelong learning. 
So for us graduating today, let us also remain students for life. I know we may feel like what we've been through in the last few years is enough trouble. For now, it's okay to take a pause, relax, and take it all in. But remember the words of Martin Luther King Jr. who said, if you cannot fly, run. If you cannot run, walk. If you cannot walk, crawl. But by all means, keep moving. And I can add, keep learning. And so, congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. Thank you. <laughs>